Hey you guys, Christina here. There's been a lot going on in my life recently and it has really caused me to grow as a person. Death, loss, tragedy, pain, separation, heartache, all these experiences in life that cause us to become stronger people. I feel it is a part of who I am to always express myself and share. It's what we're all here to do. Health is more than just about the food and your physical well-being but it's also about your spiritual, emotional, and mental self-love as well. Being creative and writing helps me to process pain and grief, so I wrote a poem. Many of you may not know that I grew up as an artist. I'm a writer, a potter, a photographer, and a musician. While I love making recipes and sharing with you my food art, what I'm about to share with you is also an important part of healthy expression. It's fully real. It's about self-love and staying true to yourself, no matter what. I'm hoping that this poem will help you to learn more about me, and if any of you are going through a difficult time, that it can help you find strength and persevere as well. <sighs> Do I have your attention? I'm human, I'm real. I too have pent up tension. I have thoughts, feelings, and passions to reveal. Because as much as I wish, I am not made of steel. Everyone experiences real situations, but those who choose to address their fears are the brave ones. The courageous smile in the end. I'm working on myself and my inner communication. I want to share with you what I have learned, what has changed my life, caused my heart to churn, how I've dealt with negative situations and strife. Bad energy. Mean people, sickness, deaths, uncontrollable heartbreaks. None were a mistake but were thrown my way. They were brought to my path as growth opportunities so that I could learn to overcome pain. Just because I am happy doesn't mean I don't experience dark moments, that I haven't been hurt or shamed or broken. Being happy doesn't mean that I am fake or plastic or that I'm inexperienced or dumb or that I am any less fantastic. Even when things get rough, I've chosen to still believe. I feed my body with foods that keep me clean because it's better to feel than to numb myself in misery. I give my body life, eating fruits and vegetables, and it goes beyond the exterior. It becomes ethical. I feed my mind with positive affirmations, and I've taught myself to become my own best friend because angels can become demons, and trusting is no longer sacred. Learn to love your haters and love your lovers because they allow you to grow and God will never give you what you choose not to know. If you don't open your eyes, then you will fail to see that this life doesn't have to be about misery. It's whatever you create it to be. Whether you're dealing with rejection or hopelessness, worthlessness, death or fear, you're never alone and you have to feel that security in here. You must be you, under all circumstances. And if you don't know who that is, thank God we are given second chances. To discover who we want to be. And we're forever changing. Make the choice today to be greater than you were yesterday. And with each step towards greatness you take, the pain inside lessens and goes away. It is a blasphemy to disrespect yourself in such a way such self-hate can only be destroyed with self-appreciate. Say it over and over and over again. I am worthy, I am worthy, I am worthy. I am my friend. I rise above every obstacle here. I choose to... <laughs> I choose to stand back up. I choose to feel because being vulnerable is brave and forgiveness takes courage. Weed out your garden and learn to love again so that you can flourish. Allow yourself to truly be seen. Stripped free, just me, who you're meant to be. <laughs> if you're vegan, then show compassion. Don't be a jerk. That message only clashes and creates confusion to those who see and who can make a difference. Because if everyone ate just one fully raw meal a day, that would create brilliance. I can only be me and you can only be you and that is always good enough to get this message through. 
Just because I am happy doesn't mean that I don't experience dark moments, that I haven't been hurt or shamed or broken. Being happy doesn't mean that I am fake or plastic or that I'm inexperienced or dumb or that I'm any less fantastic. Being happy means I've chosen to live in this moment, that I'm experiencing the present. No matter how scary that may be, I'm going to make the best of it. <laughs> Because it's better to live and feel, to laugh, to cry, to scream, to be real than it is to completely shut down or completely conceal. Your heart is trying to talk to you, so why don't you listen? Ignoring the voice of truth in your heart only causes you to stiffen and over time you lose your vision and your hope to glisten. The pain inside makes you feel imprisoned. So cry that pain out. Taste your salty tears. Say out loud what you want and make friends with your fears. Life isn't about putting on a show, but it's sharing what you know. Because it's those who choose to open up who will find beauty in the ebb and the flow. I'm here to live as an inspiration. To tell you that everything you want is already in rotation. So wake yourself up and raise your vibration. The laws of attraction give the gift of formation. God is with you to bring you salvation. I'm here to show you that happiness is possible, that health is achievable, that goodness is receivable. Everything you want is dreamable. <sighs> that mind and body and spirit are all one. The goal is to be whole. If you choose this journey, then make it fun. But remember, we are all one. I'll just go ahead and say it. I'm a freaking resurgent unicorn. <laughs> I have seen it all. I have been dragged through the mud. I came out alive and I still fall because I am not perfect. And I live on this place called Earth. And I wake up every morning and I choose to remember my worth. I remember my joy. I remember my peace. I remember the love that lives inside of me. So this is how I decide to deal with real life. I write poems to share. I eat fully raw. I work on being the best version of me. I run in fields of blue bonnets and wildflowers and I fall in love with me all over again. I give hugs and bring color into my life. I spend time with my family. I create pottery. I sing and I make music and I bust out in random tandem dance. And I do things that bring me joy. Inspiring you brings me joy. Just because I am happy doesn't mean I don't experience dark moments. Just because I am happy doesn't mean I don't experience dark moments. That I haven't been hurt or shamed or broken. Being happy doesn't mean that I am a fake or a plastic or that I'm inexperienced or dumb or that I'm any less fantastic. It just means that I have chosen to shine my light through the darkness. I've chosen to shine brighter than any obstacle placed before me because I know that I am an incredible human being. My heart has light and I will follow it home because home is in this body and this home is love. I am love. I am health. I am happy. I am me. Thank you all for letting me share this poem with you. I hope that it touches your heart in many different ways because this to me on so many levels is just me and it is personal. I'm going to take this opportunity to share with you why I haven't been making as many videos lately. This coming June, I'm going to be sharing with you a new challenge that I'm working on, and it's going to be called the I Love My Body Summer Challenge. It's going to be about eating fully raw, but it's also going to be about learning to love yourself. It's going to be sharing recipes, and it's going to be more motivational, but it's going to be all about love. No diet gimmicks, no weird plans. It's just going to be about you becoming the best version of you that you can be. So I hope that you're excited for it, and... Go on over to my website at fullyraw.com, show your support, sign up, and I will let you know when it's ready and when it will be released. I want to thank you guys again for being here with me and for allowing me to share my heart with you. This has not been easy, but it feels really good to open up like this. 
If you guys want to follow me daily, see what I'm posting, see what I'm doing, you can find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Fully Raw Christina. Yeah, I think that's all I can say right now is just thank you for being there with me and for being my friend. I love you, and I will see you on the next video of my journey called life. Sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye. I'm not this at all. This is raw footage. <laughs> That's raw footage, baby. <laughs> I didn't stop the camera one time. I can't believe I did that in one take.